Hello again. So this is combining like terms too, and in this case we have some more complicated expressions that are going to contain like terms. So again, you're going to need some scrap paper and a pencil. Here are two examples of expressions that have like terms, but you'll notice not every single expression has like terms. So we have two um, terms in our expression that have the same variable, 2n and 4n, then we have two terms that don't have any variable at all. So no variable is considered like terms, or the same variable is considered like terms. So in this case, we would add the 5 and the 3. That's one set of like terms. That equals 8. And then we would add the 2n and the 4n, because that is a second set of like terms. And that equals 6n. So our simplified expression is 8 plus 6n. In the previous video, we were able to um, simplify down to just one term, but sometimes you can't do that and you'll end up with two or three or even more terms in your simplified expression, and that's okay. Here's another example. Um, in this first example, the like terms were already kind of grouped together, so it made it easy to solve. In this case, they are not grouped together, but that's okay. We can still just take them as they come. So we have one W and a negative three W over here. Remember that this is not just a subtraction sign, it's also uh, like could be considered a negative three W. One W minus three W gives us negative two W. And then six, so that was one set of like terms. And then six plus, I mean six minus nine gives us negative three. And our simplified expression here is negative two w minus three. You'll notice in this expression, the uh, number with no variable came first just because that's the way it was written. And over here, the number with the variable came first just because that's the way it was written. At this point, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that in class. Here are some practice problems for you. So again, I'd like you to pause the video, work these out, and then come back and hit play when you're ready. All right, I'm gonna walk through how to solve these problems one at a time. So let's take a look at number one. Number one is a pretty straightforward situation where you have two like terms that are right next to each other. So 21m minus 30m would be negative 9m. And then there's nothing to combine the four with, no other like term, so we just bring it down. Negative 9m plus four. Example number two is a little bit trickier because we've separated our values that have the variables with them. We've split up our like terms, but still we have negative 5n minus 3n. So if I have negative and I'm taking away from that, I'm going what I can like think of as even farther into the negative, and I have negative 8n. Going farther away from 0, you might think. And then for my uh, values that do not have variables, I have 5 plus 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8 negative 8n plus 8. Down here in number 3, again I have some like terms that are split up, but that's okay. I'm going to combine 17 minus 6. 17 minus 6 is 11. And then I'm left with these two like terms. 4y plus 2y is 6y. So 11 plus 6y is my answer. And finally, kind of a challenge here, because I added a third kind of term, a third, um, a third, I don't know, variable, or I guess if you will. I have uh, p, so 1p plus 3p is 4p. Then I have negative 12 plus 4. If I'm down at negative 12 and I add 4, I'm getting closer to 0, so I'm going to end up with a negative 8. 
And then over here, I have this lonely little negative 1x, negative x. There's no terms to combine this guy with, so we'll just add them on here. 4p minus 8 minus x. You may have written this as 4p plus negative 8 minus x, or even plus negative x. Any of those would be okay.